I know is past is way and its possibility convert this regular uh, wet battery to crystal battery. Channel Analytia Khan Woodworking Tricks. Uh, my name is John, and in an episode of A380, I showed you how I convert my new battery or forklift from the wet lead uh, acid battery to crystal battery. And this battery used to be a couple of weeks, and you saw the test after the conversion but now I try take the battery out and discharge and charge again and take the numbers and when I open I see because of the vibration the mixture drop down so severely so I need add more the mixture of the acids and the silicon oxide so I make it I pull this in and then we check the measurement and after that I try discharge this and charge again this battery. That's the mixture of silicon dioxide and the acid from battery. You see how it's dense it. The same what I made last time. And I added because I think is now after using of the three weeks. This mixture during the vibration go sink in in all spots of the battery and the level drop so I need this to be added. You see the consistency is like a white on the egg. From the 2.75 liters of the acids from this battery I use most left over probably like a 200 milliliters and after after a couple of days I add again the stuff and maybe you can see is probably finally finally enough I am so tired of taking out the battery from the forklift and again after a couple of days I saw that the level of the mixture dropped so I used all the acids now what used to be and you can see it's not any piece and I think I got the secret the secret is make this long enough till the whole asset what used to be in a battery be accommodated inside that's my opinion is the secret now I'm not touching anything just take a tester and take a look after adding the final piece of the of the mixture what the numbers are after finally the battery accommodated all the acids what used to be now mean the mixture uh, silicon dioxide with the acids and we check the number i did nothing just add the stuff the mixture and now 600 crank okay and we'll see how it changed it changed anything or not Oh yeah, a little bit up.
how the resistance is dropped a little. Wow. Okay, that's you see the numbers. I try take the battery during the weekend, discharge and charge at least once, and then check the numbers. The battery I connect to the inverter because I need this charge and because I cannot stay here so I attach the fan to the inverter and put the timer next to and we'll see how it long takes to discharge this battery and then I try charge this again and make <clears throat> the numbers, show the numbers. It takes a couple of minutes till I go to my camera after the connector connection everything so you can see the numbers it's 11.7 volt now and it's connected to the last fan it's a regular one from Depot and the speed is 3 and we'll see how long it takes. I hope the battery in the uh, timer not die first. We'll see. Sorry, I have not the discharging stuff. So I know the inverter switch off when the when the voltage drop down to prevent the destruction of the battery so I think that is the very safe safe way to discharge 10 minutes of using 80 watts see the numbers see the fan you can see Eleven point six, I guess. At eleven, the inverter shut off. So we'll see. You can see the numbers. The battery going empty, but not yet. Time runs is one hour thirty, almost five minutes. And we keep going. It's 3 hours 17 minutes 48 seconds and it seems like the voltage is go down and the battery is going to be empty and probably the inverter switch off. I waiting for that moment so the battery is 9 volt point 9 and it takes 3 hours 25 minutes and still is the fan runs but rapidly the voltage drop is 9.8 I switch the the fan off okay and now we see the voltage go up to 10 and uh, and a half volt so I take this out, the battery is empty, and I take the numbers. Before I put to the charger this battery, I check the numbers. Okay.
as you can see the battery is under charger and I leave this till tomorrow we'll see I just want to show you inside used to be a, like a white crystal when the battery used to be charged now the battery is dead not dead it's discharged so it seems to like the stuff inside is not anymore crystal it's like a liquid we'll see after charging how it look like and what the number is of course I connect the gauge, the tester. It is first time after the discharging and charging. The battery has been charged first time. Uh, hold on, I try. 600 is a crank. Uh, okay. Five thirty three, not bad. Thirteen seven four eighty the resistance. Yeah, is the smart charger not charge full but it is what it is and I think that the number are not bad. The crank from six hundred now after the conversion uh, to the crystal battery is 533 yeah I think it's good Many people ask me about the proportion, what is the ratio from the acids to the silicon dioxide. The acids used to be 96 ounces, what mean is a 2.75 of the liter and it used to be 1 kilogram, so I got at the same identical containers so I make this uh, put this take a tar or zero and then put this to the other container and we'll see how much left over from the one kilogram I put the scale on and take this out and now put the contain container with the uh, silicon dioxide and is grams is left over 408 grams but Probably I can switch to the ounce and is fourteen forty ounce and switch to the pounds now is point nine pounds. So you can see the number. So the ratio of uh, the acid from battery and silicon dioxide is 
2.75 liter to 592 grams. In the internet you can convert this for a ounce, but I think the grams are very very accurate and in a science using the grams so that's why I put the number in the grams and the kilos uh, I just remind you just one kilos is a thousand grams so technically is a a little bit like a 0.6 kilos I used for the converter battery I know that the technological progress is based on a experimentation. However, remember, to be honest, I must tell I am not any expert on a battery field. And whatever you make with your battery, uh, according to my experiment, remember, you do this on your own responsibility. As you can see, that's the battery what I convert from the uh, lead acid battery to the crystal battery and this process takes a couple of weeks because at once I cannot accommodate all the acids so during the using the uh, battery in a forklift and the vibration because we're using the forklift outside and the vibration cause that's the mixture going down and down so I pull twice or three times actually and you got it. then I discharge the battery and charge this once once I charge with the small uh, smart uh, charger and then I try with the stupid one just uh, by the two amperes for one hour the number what the battery got <coughs> I use the tester and you saw that, so just figure out that's good enough for you or not. I think that this battery be, works for me at least 15 years. Uh, after a couple of uh, months or even years, I'll be updating uh, the video so you can see what is going on with this battery, how it turned out. Is it a good one or just die or die hard? Uh, if you like the video, hit me thumbs up. Have a wonderful day. See you next time. Uh, hold on, I try. 600 is a crank. Uh, okay. Five thirty-three. Not bad. Thirteen seven. Four eighty. The resistance. Yeah, is the smart charger not charged full? But it is what it is. And I think that the number are not bad. The crank from six hundred now after the conversion. Uh, to the crystal battery is 533 yeah